Liberty means freedom. You are free. When you are free, you are not free to be forced to go to heaven. When you are forced, the moment you are forced, it's no longer freedom. That's why you hear people who are confused saying, if God is there, then why is he allowing such things to happen? Why are people sick? Why are people dying? They are sick because it's their choice. They go to hell because it's their choice. If he's going to force you to heaven, then it's no longer freedom. He has come to set you free. You are free to choose today. Choose to be a child of God. Choose to deny him. Choose to worship him. Choose to forsake him. It's now a matter of choice. Ah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Going to hell be by choice. Hmm? Praise God. Amen. This should remind me a sort of a prodigal son. He was in that condition because of his choice. Desiring to eat what was led by swines, it was his choice. One day he made up his mind. And he chose to say, I will go back to my father. And his decision transformed, changed his life. It was not God, it was his decision. Today your decision will change everything. Someone who is sitting there must make up his or her own mind to say, I am tired of boy having boyfriends who are not adding any Christian value into my life. I'm tired of girlfriends who are subtracting godliness from my life. I am tired of disobeying God. Now you must make up your mind to say, Today it's not too late to say, God, I want to follow you. Ah. Today, yes. it's not too late. It's not too late to break that worldly relationship. It's not too late to break that worldly deals. It's not too late to break that worldly character. Because the Son of God was anointed to preach the good news to the poor, to preach the good news to the captivity, to set them free at liberty, that they may have a choice to choose.